Hey kindergarten friends, happy Wednesday. Today we are gonna do some 2D versus 3D shapes. So in other words, we're gonna decide whether a shape is two dimensional or three dimensional. Now that we know what 2D shapes look like and 3D shapes look like. So you can follow along with me on page 603 in your math workbook, chapter 10. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do it now. And then unpause it when you're ready to meet me um, on this page. Okay, are you ready to go? Okay, here we go. So this is a, I mean, a square pyramid. Ooh, that worked for a minute. And I wanna know if it's 2D or 3D. 3D, right? I can touch it, I can feel it, it has the height on there. Good. 2D or 3D? 2D, that's right, Mel. It's, it's flat. 2D or 3D, Skylar? 3D, very good. Pentagon. 2D or 3D? What do you think, Raleigh? 2D. Yep, I agree. Woo! Little cylinders bouncy here. 2D or 3D, Hayden? 3D. Good job. Coda, 2D or 3D? 2D. It's flat. Right. All right. 2D or 3D, you guys? 3D. That's right. Three dimensions. Two dimensional or three dimensional? Two dimensional. Good job. Two-dimensional or three-dimensional? Three-dimensional, good job. Two-dimensional or three-dimensional? Two-dimensional, good job. Last one, two-dimensional or three-dimensional? Three, okay. So that was just that little sort that we did at the beginning. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the page now and we're gonna look at the next page. And so what your job is, is you're gonna start by circling the two-dimensional shapes. So I'm just gonna take a peek here, and I know that a square is flat and it's two-dimensional. Circle it or no circle it, is it two-dimensional? So right now, turn your page, join me, and circle the two-dimensional. Nope, 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 yes, two-dimensional. Notice how the three-dimensional shapes have a little bit of shadow on them because they stand up. Nope, two-dimensional, two-dimensional. So now we're gonna put an X on all the three-dimensional shapes. A cylinder is three-dimensional. A cylinder is three-dimensional. A cone is three Oh, my X is not very good there, my goodness. Three-dimensional and three-dimensional, just like so. Okay, so <clears throat> what they want you to do with this next one is the same thing again. They want you to color it in, so it says, Identify two-dimensional or flat shapes. Use the red color to color in the two-dimensional shapes and use a blue to color in the three-dimensional shapes. Here's what I'd like you to do. You can do all that, that's great. The next one, 10.7, I'm actually gonna send home in your next packet where remember how we built with, with marshmallows and toothpicks? We built two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. That's what you're gonna do in 10.7. And then in 10.8, and some of the other ones, we're gonna use Mommy, prepositional Dad, words. So I don't wanna go Mommy, to, see some teaching. Cece doesn't want me to talk right now. So in this one, what I want you to do is get out your green packet today, cut out all these shapes and do a sort. Are they two dimensional or 2D or three dimensional 3D? Something that I would do just to get my brain ready would be to write a two if I thought it was two dimensional and a three if I thought it was three dimensional and then have somebody check it like that. It's your call though. You can just cut them out and glue them too and send them in to me so that I can see how you're doing with this. Um, another great thing that is in here that I wish I would have looked at a little sooner is it says red would be the cones, blue is the cylinders, and yellow is a rectangular prism. So they want you to color in, oh look, a can is a cylinder. Oh look, a jar is a cylinder. Oh look, a salt shaker is a cylinder. Oh, rectangular prism, a box, a bin. Those are both rectangular prisms. Cones, could be an ice cream cone, a party hat, or a beehive. Oh, there's another cylinder down here that I missed. You guys are right. So have some fun with these 2D and 3D shapes, and we'll go through some of them tomorrow and talk about them. Um, but do a little work here in this packet too because this is a great thing to turn in and show me what you know about 3D and 2D shapes. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, 
Enjoy some nice, cool, rainy weather, and I will see you tomorrow.